So degradation, okay? You're seeing a lot of people saying, oh, our solar modules are 20 years to 80% performance or 25 years to 80% performance. And we have a, um, a bent knee curve or a straight curve or, uh, you know, it's a linear degradation over time. So here's what goes on with degradation. So in the actual solar modules themselves, there are two main causes for problems in a solar module, problems, okay, that might be warrantable and, or, or that might be considered warrantable by the layman, okay? And uh, um, most of those causes are due to, 70% of failures in solar modules are due to the handling of the solar module during installation. And in fact, most uh, publications, and if you're looking in the solar industry and you're uh, all about it and you've been looking in all these renewable energy magazines and publications and advertisings and things, you'll see guys leaning on solar modules and tightening stuff or carrying them on their shoulder with the glass and everything on their shoulder. And even proud owners, after the project is complete, standing on top of their modules, so proud of their modules. And they're able to do all of those things because tempered glass, and it's uh, approximately an eighth of an inch thick, okay, we're talking about gauges, we're not talking about inches, but uh, it's approximately an eighth of an inch thick, this tempered glass, has a lot of flexibility, a lot of give, it's very strong until it breaks, okay? But that's not what makes your electricity, what makes the electricity, what, what collects the uh, and excites the electrons or silicon wafers uh, solar cells and those are microns thick and they're crystal they're not tempered glass they have no uh, forgiveness or, or flexibility at all and they will break and shatter in a second but you don't see that when they're new because they're all in an encapsulate Okay, and the encapsulate is like a polyurethane uh, glaze uh, that it makes it look like it's being held in thin air between the glass and the white back sheet or the black back sheet, depending on what you have. Now, over time, they heat up and cool off every single day through the life of it. So in a year or two, if it's been mishandled, you'll start to see cracks in these cells because they'll start to migrate away from each other. So the biggest problem is in handling and installation, which is another reason to use a contractor and an installer that is dedicated to knowing his craft and knowing exactly how it's done and training his staff and our national certification and accreditation as a company requires us to be audited, not only trained, but audited as far as our training of our staff and our installers. So this is what makes the difference, the installation on the longevity of your solar panels. So the warranty is based on how much power you'll get at the end of the warranty period. Okay, so most of them are to 80% performance from 20 to 25 years. Because of our national accreditation, some manufacturers give us a 30-year production warranty because they know that overall we're going to handle them correctly. They know that we're going to install them correctly. We know that we're not going to mishandle them from the time they come off the truck to us, from the time they land here at Solar Ray until the time that they're bolted down on somebody's roof, they know that they're not going to be uh, abused in any way, shape, or form. And so that's worth five years. Okay? So that's just in the degradation of performance. Okay? Now, why does that happen? Okay? Uh, the degradation is naturally that 80% over a certain amount of time and it's not because the solar cell starts to deteriorate or anything else. What happens is that encapsulate we talked about before because of all the heat cycles, it's a polyurethane, right? So even glass out in the sun over decades will start to go opaque. It'll start to brown a little bit, right? And so that acts as a filter for the sun. 
So it's like put, starting, you're adding this layer of uh, sun shading in the module itself. And that's just natural over time. And um, so you can absolutely get the warranted life out of the solar system if it's installed correctly. Um, and, but the degradation is caused just simply because it's exposed to the sun absolutely every single day. And also it goes through all those heat cycles every single day. You're talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of, of heat cycles over the, the, the warranty period. So, and then you're talking about the inverter systems, okay? So the inverter systems. So the inverters are, and the power conditioning units, whether it's a battery system or a straight grid tie system, you're dealing with equipment that is electrical circuitry, like your computer, right? So your computer or your phone, okay? So this also goes into this list of training and, and experience and uh, certifications and knowledge and commitment to installing and doing it correctly and not having to always be worried about service, right? Um, we do service our, our customers, don't get me wrong, but that's not a good business. I mean, it's a good business model to make sure you service your customers. It's not good business to have your customers always need service, right? If you installed a new air conditioner, you wouldn't wanna to have to call the air conditioning company every month, right? You'd like for it never to have a problem until the end of its expected life, okay? Now, the way you do that with a solar system would be just, almost everybody has a, a smartphone, right? So if you overload your smartphone, if you have a lot of apps open at the same time, if you are always running the battery to zero, your phone is not gonna last very long. In fact, you can feel it in your hand. You'll feel it start to getting hot, okay? You'll feel that it's, and then you'll also watch the performance. It won't work like it used to, and it'll start to be real sluggish and maybe even physically the battery starts to bulge, okay? So that's called overloading your electronics and it greatly reduces the life expectancy of the electronics. At Solaray, we never overload your electronics, okay? So the only time that you're, in fact, I've kind of pride myself in making sure that the systems are designed so that you're never gonna be peak shaving. And what peak shaving means is most other companies and most other manufacturers even, <clears throat> because they actually make money if things are done incorrectly, <laughs> um, is they'll undersize the electronics, they'll undersize the inverter, uh, and that's notorious with microinverters as well. They'll, it's a, a much smaller microinverter for the panel that it's on. And so what you'll do is you'll always be running that piece of electronics up against a wall, right? So it could be making this much power, but it can only make this much power. So anytime you're running an electric, that means that it's running at peak very often, which means it runs hotter than it normally would, which means that it's gonna be overloaded often, which means that its life expectancy is going to be less. In those situations, you're probably lucky if you make it to the warranty period. And that's pretty much it as far as degradation, both in your solar panel, uh, in your electronics. Michael Brown, Solar Ray, I hope this has been informative. If you have any more questions or concerns or anything else you'd like to see a video about, please leave comments below. Have a great month.